Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today you join me in performing a lower leg service on my Suntour XER fork. Like this. Now I've had my nucleus for a while and if you saw my box to ride ready video or my upgrades video you may have heard me mention that my plans for the Suntour XR32 fork that it came with. The plan was to convert the lubrication method from grease to having an oil bath in the lowers. Now whilst it initially sounded like a great idea after some digging around on the internet it seems it might not be such a great move. Um, somebody had reported doing this with a Suntour Radon fork and after some time had passed, the rider was experiencing a significant loss in their fork travel. It would appear that the cause of this was because the damper module had ingested oil from the oil bath and basically rendered the fork as useless without renewing the damper unit. Obviously, like most, I don't want this to happen to my fork. Uh, but I'm still going to put in soaked foam rings. Um, I'm going to check the grease it come with. And also I'm going to put a travel indicator ring on the airside stanchion. Now Suntour recommend a service interval not exceeding 50 riding hours and the application of a Teflon based lubricant after every 25 hours of riding. So first off, I'm going to get the wheel off the bike and basically get the lowers off. Let's have a look. Just gonna put a nut on this one, just so we know where the uh, spacer goes. Just makes things a little bit quicker upon reassembly. Okay, so once you've got the wheel out, just give the forks a bit of a wipe down just to get some of that muck or dust off. Depending how dirty they are, you might even want to wash your bike first before you get started. I'm just going to go over literally pretty much everywhere I'm going to be working here. Now the forks are wiped down, we're going to have to get the lowers off, obviously. So if I just pull you around here a minute, you should hopefully be able to see in the lower section here, we've got two bolts. We've got one bolt here, which is a five millimeter. There is, I believe an eight millimeter bolt underneath this rebound adjustment knob, um, which is the next bit. Actually, we're gonna to need to get out of the way. Um, sometimes they, you can just pull them out by hand. This one is not coming by hand. I don't want to put any pliers on there um, and scratch it up on the outside just through misuse of tools. So I'm going to use a, a little flat head screwdriver just to see if I can get that satin underneath and prise that. I'm not going to push against the fork. I'm just going to twist that screwdriver. There we go. And out it pops. Make sure you, if this bit's loose, make sure you um, just keep that with that knob. So without this, Without that, you're not gonna be able to adjust your rebound. All right, so now it has revealed the eight millimeter. And obviously, like I say, there's a five millimeter there already. Let's get in here. We'll undo that eight millimeter one first. Okay, it's not too tight. Now, you might be tempted to take it out all the way. Don't, just screw it back in a couple of turns and do the same with the five millimeter side as well. Oh, that one's a bit tighter. There we go. Now, the reason for this is sometimes you just need to give them a little bit of a tap just to get those lowers off. There we go, so that's out. Just put it back in a couple of turns. And let's find something to give it a tap with. I've never known a fork just to come straight off without doing that. Yeah, today's no different. So, like I say, we need to be able to somehow get in there and give it a tap. So I've got just like a rubber mallet here. Give them a few taps both sides. 
take those out. I just thought I'd just try to pull on that and obviously it wouldn't have come out anyway with the bolts in there. <laughs> but uh, do you know what? I've not known it to come off on any forks without giving that the obligatory tap. Yeah, so it's still not coming out. Yeah, I don't think it's this side. Um, because you're probably not even gonna see it. I'll try. If you have if you are able to see in there, um, you'll be you see a bit which is kind of out of out of alignment. Just trying to move the camera around this uh, which is where the eight millimeters I don't think you can see it. But anyway, there's a bit where the eight millimeter Allen key goes to. Um, and that's just kind of dropped away. So I think this is definitely the side that is holding on. As I say, I just need to give it a tap. I've got a six mil Allen key now. I don't really want to whack it too hard and then go in and ruin the threads. Oh yeah, I think that's done it. <coughs> Quite a bit of movement. There we go. And so they are now just pulling straight off Go. So there's not actually a lot of grease in there, which I was kind of expecting really. Um, could be worth just to give your forks a breakdown and just see what you can see. Um, very minimal grease, which like I say is no real surprise. We've got some grease on one side here, but it's like they've just literally thrown it at that one side. Um, <laughs> and not actually moved it around, kind of where it needs to go. So yeah, upon further inspection, um, these stanchions are dry. They're really dry, um, which I'm not that impressed about. And I don't know if you can see down here, this is where I've, I've not ridden it loads, but I have been riding it. And there appears to be some wear marks already on these stanchions. Yeah, that's not so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to need to be sorting something out with this in regards to grease. As I say, I'm going to try and put some foam rings in as well. Um, I'm not going to be putting that oil bath in because of obviously what I said in regards to losing travel over time. Okay, I've got the foam rings here, bought them off the internet, it also comes with a travel indicator. Um, which on more expensive bikes, or more expensive forks, sorry. Um, that would already come with one of them on. But this is a budget fork. Um, there we go. So that would be going on the air side. Um, and these are the foam rings. Tell me about, I don't know, is it the, the smell of foam? Is it just me? New foam. It smells all right, actually. Right, we disregard the middle sections. They're not going to be used for anything. It's the outer bits that we're going to be requiring. Um, double check whichever ones you purchase that they will fit in the recess in the fork. Um, I'm sure they're going to be fine. Yeah. Have a quick nose. I'm going to need to soak these actually. Yeah, just make sure they go in there first because I don't want to soak them and find out I'm not actually going to be using them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're sitting in there absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna get these soaked now, and then I can wipe the fork down, apply some more grease, uh, or apply some grease, because they've obviously not put hardly any in, which is very disappointing. Okay, so we're gonna get the O-ring soaked. I've got some 15, wait, Rock Shocks oil, which I'm just gonna put in there. This is what will go in my Rock Shocks lowers. So, just find a container somewhere. Pop your O-rings in. Make sure the container's kind of is clean as well. Pop the O-rings in. And literally pour some of that oil in. Just so there's enough in there. For them to soak it up. There we go. Have a look at that. Yeah, I did get that one a little bit dirty when I put it in the fork earlier. 
I'm not going to be worried about that. So I'm going to leave them to soak up the oil and we can get on with giving this fork a little bit more of a wipe down. So let's get those stanchions. I can't believe that. Those marks. That is not what I would have expected really. Yeah, they're not top end forks. Not by a long shot, but come on. So I would definitely recommend servicing your forks as soon as you get them. Don't be like me and ride it. Just assuming that there's uh, some grease in there because do you know what? It's probably not. Right, let's get that travel indicator. Just gonna put that on as I say. I'm putting it on the uh, on the air chamber side. Simply just because that's where all my others are. So let's let's keep it all uniform, shall we? There we go. That can sit up there. Um, let's get some grease, some extra grease onto these stanchions, I think. Or shall I use the grease of a foot there? A bit of that and a bit of whatever. It's got to be Teflon based. Um, I have got. I don't even know what that's doing. Okay, so having a look at this, um, if, do you recall me earlier saying about the damper module ingesting some oil and reducing travel? Um, basically, it would have probably be inducing it through this area here. Um, so that's why now I'm not going to be going ahead with the actual dedicated oil bar for these forks, um, just the O-rings themselves. So right, I've got some grease here, some red um, lithium grease without any PTFE, you don't want any PTFE in there. Um, I'm just going to put some on the stanchions and we can get that just rubbed in around there. Oh yeah. These forks are saying, thank you. Yeah, they'll love it. They'll love it. Just literally rub that all the way around. I'm not gonna go further up the stanchions with it because you know what, when you put your wiper seals on, most of this is just gonna get pushed up there anyway. So that's pointless literally rubbing it all the way down, I think. Okay, that's nice and uniform there. Keep going on this one. There we go. So that's got grease on those lowers. Oh, sorry, that's got grease on those stanchions. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of grease just on here. Not loads. Do we need anything on that one? Yeah, why not? Put a little bit around there as well. I'm not gonna overload it. So this is the sort of thing you're gonna to want to be doing uh, no more ideally than after every 50 hours of riding. And um, that's what Suntour are recommending. All right, have a look at my feet. Nah, not really guys. This is where I'm going to now put in the foam rings. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I haven't got a pick or anything. Um, although, to get it out, I might use a hooked spoke. Okay, there's one. I don't know how, how messy or what this is going to be. Um, let me just put this put this container down whilst trying to hang on there we go so if we try and get that in there maybe I'm 
there we go. Let's try and seat that in all the way around. If it's gonna go. This could be a failed off failed event, but I'd say I'd say that is in if you can see that in there I don't even know because my lighting is not amazing um, yeah you should be able to see that in there just about down here right let's try and get this one in as well let's push that down again into its recess just above that wiper seal obviously if you are doing this to service the forks you might need to put new wiper seals in if they're looking a bit sorry for themselves um, there we go so that's that ring in there as well that is very good very nice i'm also going to put some grease just on the inside of these wiper seals. So now it's time to reassemble. So we've got the wiper seals in, we put some grease on the stanchions of the fork. It's just now time to line everything up, put it back together. Okay, so as you're putting them on, kind of walk it from side to side. When it's on straight, we're good to go. Um, I'm just double checking those seals just to make sure they're not folded over on themselves and they're not. So we'll push that right up into position. Now the first bolt I'm gonna do up is the five mil bolts. Starting with this one because that one is gonna be aligned. So this is the one for the air spring side. Oh, drop it on the floor. That's obligatory. There we go. Let's nip that up. I'm not sure what the torque settings are actually for this. Um, it might have paid for me to check that out. Um, if I do find any torque settings for these bolts, I'll link them in the description down below. Just need to make sure that this side is all lined up ready to go when, it, when you think it is just grab the eight millimeter one and just see don't push it in just see if you're turning it kind of quite lightly the thread takes and uh, no it hasn't done it This one could be quite a pain. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah. Don't it, bro. Actually, the um, using the threaded part of a spoke for that's quite good because it gives it a little bit of grip. Um, and then you can actually pull it into position. So once your bike is back together, just give it a few um, compressions on the fork wipe off the excess oil on the top or grease and then go for a ride. Okay, so if you found this video useful at all, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe um, so you don't miss out on any future content. And I'll see you in the next video.